Hi everyone! I really miss everybody. Um, this is a really weird situation. Weird things are happening, right? Um, it's kind of weird. Um, I just hope that everyone's having a really, really great time with their family, spending time outdoors in their backyards or in parks, because even though we are not interacting with people like we should be, um, we still get to go outside and enjoy fresh air. So I hope everyone's doing that. Um, today we're going to be reading When God Made Light for Faith Formation or, or like children's moment. Um, it's a really cute story. When God Made Light, let there be, oh, it's the howl, like, I'm recording this kind of late. That's what God said. And light began shining, and then started to spread. It flickered and dashed, it blinked and it flashed. Light poured and light spilled, it bolted and splashed. Light glared and glimmered, it flared and sparked. And wherever light shined, dark stopped being dark. All the puppies are barking because of it. In the beginning, space became bright because God filled it with twinkles of yellow, yellowy white. Br brilliant stars gleamed, swirls of light streamed, and that once empty space, a galaxy beamed. When God made light, a universe lit up, a dazzling display of big shiny stuff. And all that light, every bright golden hue, is the very same light that God put inside you. Now God made the sun to light up our days, to cover our plants with life-filled filled rays, to make summers warm and winters not too cold, to help flowers bloom and turn wheat fields to gold, to burst in the morning at the first crack of dawn, to rise up slowly and beam across lawns. Look at all those plants. And when the sun shines, here's what you should do. Go run and have fun, play a game, maybe two. Go skipping or flipping or down a slide slipping. Or if it's too hot in a pool, just go dipping. Dance in the grass, go climbing in trees, build castles with sand. Face the wind, fill its breeze. The weather's been kind of nice and cool right now. It's not too hot or too cold. Eat berries and cherries in a patch pick strawberries, or whistle out loud with a, with a choir of canaries. And once in a while, when the playing is done, look up in the sky and thank God for some fun. And when the light fades and a day ends too, too soon, wave goodbye to the sun and hello to the moon. Oh. Yes, God made the moon to brighten the sky's nights, to reflect the sunshine, to be our world's nightlight. But beneath a dark, oh, sorry. But beneath a dark sky, there are things you can do. Just bring mommy or daddy and a flashlight or two. Raise a tent and go camping, or through the woods stamping, romping and stomping on paths made for tramping.
Catch fireflies in jars, go gazing at stars. Try counting and seeing how many they are. there are. See constellations, shapes, and formations. Find a lion or bear amidst heaven's creations. Look at all the stars. Sing songs round campfires, make marshmallow s'mores. Let grandpa tell stories, wage flashlight wars. Wars. <sighs> now when God made light, God made all different kinds. Some sparkles, some flares, but all light shines. It flashes and bolts where lightning is crashing, or bursts through the sky when a comet is dashing. And if you ever feel scared in the darkness of night, remember the shadows are no match for God's light. Climb into bed, sleep soundly and dream, and know that inside you, God's glow is a gleam. Cause you're just like the sun and moon in the sky, as lustrous as twinkles that dazzle the eye. You're as splendid as lightning when it flashes so bright. Because on the day you were born, God said, let there be light. So beam like the sun, glimmer like a star. And wherever you go, dark will stop being dark. Shimmer and shine and become a beacon so bright. Because when God made you, child, God made light. The end. Does, do any of you guys use, like, night lights? Do any of you guys use night lights? Or did you guys used to? And did those night lights help? Well... When you think of a nightlight, it helps scary stuff, right? It helps bring just a little bit of light and make sure that you're not quite so scared. Well, right now, things are a little scary. And it's kind of hard to be sure. I mean, everyone wants to go see their friends and hang out. And it's scary because you're, you're not sure when. So, um, I want you guys to think about kind of what is scary to you right now. Because I know that people are feeling scared. And I want you guys to think about ways to make it light. I want you guys to find your nightlight in this scary time. So whether that be drawing and coloring in books and stuff, or going outside and playing with your pets if you have any, or baking with your parents or anything like that, I think that it's really important to find something that is your nightlight right now. Um, I know that for me right now, my nightlight is baking. I think it's been really fun, and I've really been enjoying it. <laughs> Bye, guys. Um, I hope you guys have a really good week, um, and I'm sure the next story will be just as fantastic. <laughs>